Our journey back to the time of Moses took us to the ruins of Luxor. It is a grand reminder of the glory that once was ancient Egypt. And at a dig nearby, we met Betsy Bryan, an American archaeologist who's unearthing clues about this place and its people. All the digging that's gone on for the last several hundred years, has that enabled us to reach a conclusion about history, about even the biblical stories? Well, I think that there's always a new conclusion. You know, the conclusions keep changing and people's ideas keep changing as a result of archaeology and historical study. So Especially, they're always surprises? They're always surprises. And that's exactly what Brian and her team have been finding amidst the ruins of a temple that was used during the biblical time of Moses. How significant is this dig? Mm -hmm. This is where the workers worked mm -hmm. and also where they lived. Because we have a temple over here, but you also have to have things like bread making, beer making. But surprise is that this year we started to get a lot of human beings. <gasps> they are probably the, the people who actually worked here, the very poor people who are seemingly finding a place to bury their family members. I really can't believe what I'm seeing. How old is that? Well, it's probably around uh, 1700 BC. Just jump down. If you can. Yep. Call it beginner's Sorry. luck, Sorry. Yep, but absolutely. graduate student Catherine Davis made this rare good. find on her second dig. So we were excavating this room right here, um, and we saw in the wall of this room this bone sticking out, and then we saw the two arm bones, and then teeth. And actually, in Excellent shape. It's really excellent shape. <laughs> it was the first thing we noticed, these pearly white teeth. Is it exciting for you? Oh, I, I think it's fabulous. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'll be honest, it's, I mean, you, you're discovering something that nobody has seen for thousands of years. It's very hard to resist that. The man she's just found was one of legions who likely worked here for the pharaohs. The Bible says among them were the Israelites, but so far nobody has turned up hard archaeological evidence of that. How much of Egypt is yet to be dug up? I have no idea, but all I can tell you is that you cannot dig anywhere in Egypt and not find something. That's the truth. But Brian told us there was one place we might find a small clue as to what happened to the biblical Israelites. So we left Luxor and headed north to Cairo, just across the street from Tahrir Square, the birthplace of Egypt's recent revolution, there is the Egyptian Museum, where you can find a treasure trove of ancient artifacts, among them one that may prove that once upon a time the ancient Israelites were here. We're going to take a journey back in yes, time? Yes, travel to unravel. Oh, tra <laughs> travel to unravel. This is Ahmed Sadiq, a young, aspiring Egyptologist. We asked him to show us this monument. It's the earliest evidence of Israel's existence in the Egyptian record. It belonged to a pharaoh who ruled more than 3,200 years ago, King Meremtah. What is it? View it as a Facebook page, you know, the royal Facebook page for the king. king so the pharaonic Facebook. Yes, that's it. This is a propaganda of King Merim Petah, or the son of Ramesses the Great. It tells the story of the king's successful military campaigns, and one of the last entries talks about a victory over the people of Israel. When you look at the inscription here, Israel, then Fik et Ben Perit F. What does they say? Israel is laid waste. And then, literally, Ben is like no more. The monument originally belonged to Meremtah's father, the famed Ramses the Great. So was he the pharaoh that Moses confronted? It's not fully proven, but the idea is backed up by the biblical account of the Israelite slaves. If there was evidence of the Exodus, would it make sense that it would be around the time of Ramses? The Bible speaks of slaves being put to work by a cruel pharaoh and names the cities that they were put to work in, and one of them is Ramses. So it's a real place. Those kinds of clues make one think, well, maybe there really is something to placing this exodus in that time period.